former external affairs minister Natwar Singh, who sparked a few roar with his autobiography, has now responded to Congress spokesperson Abhishek Manu Singhvi's comments on his book. Singh said even the Congress was named in the Walker report. Singhvi had said yesterday that Natwar Singh had to be dismissed from the UPA government once his name appeared in the oil for food scam and that he must come clean on the corruption allegations against him. Now, the Congress party is also mentioned in the Volcker report as a non-contractual beneficiary. So, Singhvi ji has conveniently forgotten this. Yes, I think it's a, a unfortunate. Uh, I didn't expect a balanced person, I, Manmohan Singh ji, to make this kind of a remark that I am doing publicity. Why? If my book is selling, I can't tell them, please don't sell it. And uh, knowing him as I do, he is doing this to please Sonia Gandhi. We can understand Mr. Natwar Singh's peak and the underlying antagonism which is the subtext of this proposed book. But we ask you, through, your, through you the public domain, what was the alternative with the UPA one government, with the Congress party? in the light of what has been written in the Voker report, a purely international body, on 27th of October 2005, a report with no connection to India or the Congress party or the government, that Sri Natwar Singh's family, I am quoting now, quoting and unquoting, Sri Natwar Singh's family were non-contractual, non-contractual in UN language means corrupt. Beneficiaries, no, it's written there in the report itself, bracket, non-contractual corrupt beneficiaries of the oil for food program. 